Hey, this is a locker stock form to create your Printex account that you might have seen when you first registered your Megastore. If you're a brand new customer and you haven't seen this form, feel free to reach out to us over at Printex at customer service at printexinc.com and we'll uh, be sure that you get a hold of this. What this is, is just a nice quick form where you can fill out and create your Printex account. Uh, the forms are pretty basic. Uh, you know, company name, this is the actual business name of your uh, company. Uh, the first and last owner's name, this is uh, whoever legally owns the business. Primary email, whatever email account you would like us to reach out to you as the primary means of contact. Phone number in the event that we need to call you. And payment email needs to be associated with any means of payment. So if this is separate than your primary email, we leave this here as a courtesy. Uh, in addition to that, if you're going to ship international, be sure to uh, hit this button here if you have intentions to do so. Uh, the e-commerce store URL, if you are an online entity and you know, have a website online, just copy its uh, website here. Just give me that www.com. Uh, the image here is for your packing slips. This is a promotional image that appears when we generate our paperwork for you, when we do fulfillment. Uh, every single item that we send, every order, will have a, a pick ticket. And let me show you what one of these will look like. So this right here, this Kelly Williams branded a uh, promo, it can be a logo, it can be a discount. Uh, some of our customers have done some very creative stuff with that. It's uh, very slick. Uh, I recommend about a 1600 by 1400 as the highest resolution in pixels uh, for your promo images. Uh, and all you have to do here is hit choose file and you can find the image you want to upload. It's very, very intuitive. Now to create the username and password, this is actually the credentials you'll use to log in to Locker Stock, our inventory system, after this form is completed. So be sure that your username is something you'll remember. Uh, it will have to be unique. Uh, and in the event that the name's already taken, the uh, system will let you know, hey, that's already been taken. You can't use it. Definitely write this down. It'll be handy in the future. Your password uh, just needs to be confirmed. And once you're all done with that, uh, this is where you set up your tracking number information. Basically, Anytime we send out a, an order to one of your customers, we're going to send an email to them. If you want us to, that includes the tracking for that product. And if you want us to send tracking to your customers, just make sure this check mark is selected. Now, if this is selected, you're going to want to fill out these information, these fields here. Uh, this will tell your customer where it's coming from. Without this uh, information filled out, what will happen is the email will appear to come from whatever business name you gave uh, us originally at the top of the form. But if you want it to be something specific, you can come and set that here, like say support at yourdomain.com. Uh, now, uh, if you would like, you can have uh, uh, both the from name changed and the email address. So this will actually change the email address that they see and this changes the, the name that sent it. So if you want it to be a very personal experience, this, this first field contains the name information. So if you want it to appear like it came from John, you can have that name here. Uh, now, if you want a copy of these emails sent to you, we offer that service here, the send copy of email to field. Uh, we can send this to a Gmail or to your support email. Uh, that way you actually have a physical copy of every email that goes out from us. That's totally up to you. Now, uh, at the very bottom, you'll notice a logo. This field here is strictly for putting a bit of branding on these automated emails that we send out to your customers. You don't have to. This is optional. But uh, again, it just makes it more your own. And lastly, you just have to make sure you hit this I am not a robot captcha to make sure that you're not a robot. Once that's done, hit submit. And that's all we need here to get you started in Locker Stock.